If I can teach Elon Musk and Joe Rogan something, I can teach you something too. Okay, I've been chomping at the bit to post this video, but I've been sick, but here I am. And this is, you've got to hear this. You've got to hear this story. Okay, I'm watching Joe Rogan podcast. When I do my lip balm necklaces, I need something to listen to. So I listen to him. He's got great guests on. Now, if you hate Joe Rogan, whatever, but I listen to him. He had Elon Musk on and it's a video, by the way. Um, I mean, I was watching on, yeah, it was on Spotify, but they have video. So I'm watching them and hear these two men talking about interesting things. And, uh, you know, no matter what you think of them, just listen. Um, they ordered a pizza and I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. I want to watch them eat pizza. And they did. They ate pizza. And what I noticed is these two brilliant men, their brains go as they're eating pizza. Let me explain what I mean. So they were both really hungry and the podcasts are long again. So they had time to order a pizza and enjoy it. And there's some great plays and they called and they brought this delicious thing in and they were giddy with excitement over it, which I thought that's cute. Yeah, that's how you should feel when you're about to eat some pizza that you really like. So they're, mm -hmm, and they, and you could just tell they were so psyched to eat this pizza, which is great. And they're eating it. And it's, it's funny. I mean, it, it was actually, I thought I got a kick out of it because they were so joyful and then it happened. Then they were like, yeah, this is why I can't eat pizza. This is why I can't eat carbs. Their brains just started going into diet mentality misery. These two smart men, you know, can we please call them both at least Elon smart and Joe Rogan, very successful, whatever. If this happens to these two, how are you expected to know how to eat? How are you expected not to have this diet mentality brain that is crippling and, and ruining food and eating for all of us? unless you actively replace it. So this is the kind of thoughts that they had. I saw it, I saw it, and I used to do this, and you probably do this, so. They, but watch it in them, because it's interesting to see. They're enjoying, 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 and then they hit a wall. And that wall that they hit is them knowing that now they've, they've ruined it. Now, as delicious as this is, they've ruined everything, because they're eating pizza. And pizza isn't good for you. It's carbs and oh God. And I can only imagine Joe Rogan thinking, oh, how many ice baths am I going to have to do to make up for this? Or how many, whatever it is he does, or how many, you know, green drinks am I going to have to drink in the morning instead of having what I want to make up for this? That's, they start doing deals. And Elon as well. I don't know his food thing is so well, so I don't know exactly what he does, but they both start, had this metamorphosis from joyful eater into, into thinking, oh, I've done it now. And what happens when you do that is you eat more because you're like, well, I've already blown it. I've already, I've had, look at me, look at me. I'm eating this pizza. So now you start in the back of their mind, you could see things going, especially in Joe Rogan. Like I'm gonna have to, you know, what am I have to do to make up for this? I'm not gonna eat pizza again for a month. And when you say that to yourself or two months or ever, you, you, you eat more because you're like, well, this is it. This is my last hurrah with pizza. So I'm gonna eat more. And of course it's not gonna be your last hurrah with pizza because pizza is amazing. But you say that to yourself, you make little deals, us dieters, I'm a former dieter. We make deals with ourselves. Well, I'm just going to finish this because it's here and I've already blown it. And then I just, you know, I'm going to just do extra workout tomorrow and I'm going to like just not eat pizza again. I, this, I'm not going to keep the menu from this delightful restaurant anywhere near me anymore. I'm going to throw out any little bit I couldn't gorge down. I'm going to throw it. I'm going to get away from me. This food I'm victim to. Really? No, that's not how it works. How it works, how it should work in a normal relationship with food and eating is that when you get to that point, I'm about to sneeze. When you get to that point where you're like, okay, I feel myself slowing down, that I'm on the 15th bite now, whatever bite it is, and I just notice, notice, take a hot minute and go, hmm, is this as good as it was when I first started eating? When, you know, the two of them were sitting there, and oh, they were so happy. Is it still as good? The answer is no, because hunger is the best sauce. The answer is no, but no, we just blow by that because we're, oh, I've already done it. You know, you haven't done anything. You've had some pizza and enjoyed it, but that doesn't mean you need to overeat it because you, you know, fell prey to it. No, eating pizza when you're hungry is great. Eating pizza when you're not hungry isn't. And that's what we do. We, we dive into some pizza and then we just, ah, uh, I've been there again, been there, done that, been there, done that. I know how that feels. You just have to develop this little, you have to develop this little, little thing in your brain where you're eating and you go, okay, yes, it's good. And food will always be tasty, right? But just like, and I use this thing off, my arm, when it itches and I scratch, it feels amazing. When it's not itchy and I scratch, it's like, what are you doing? Same thing with food. And if you go, oh, that could never be me. Well, I know you may think that. I thought that too, but it's not true. 
your beautiful body wants you to listen to it. And when you're putting food in, when it's not hungry, it's going, what are you doing? What are you doing? So instead of letting your brain lead you into that cyclone downward into, I'm so sad, I ate this pizza, now tomorrow I have to work out more and I have to not eat breakfast or whatever the heck it is you tell yourself. Say, no, this food, I'm not victim to this beautiful food. I am the owner and, and enjoyer of this food. And when my hunger just lets up a little, I'm going to notice, I'm going to take a hot minute. I'm going to go, hmm, not as good now. And I'm not going to say to myself, well, no more pizza for you now. I'm going to say, hey, I'm just going to hold on and not eat anymore at this moment. You okay? Not eat anymore at this moment. And if in 10 minutes my body's going, hey, more pizza, then I'm going to eat it. But if it's my brain going, just eat more because you already blew it. I'm not going to eat because that's my brain messing with me. That's a diet mentality deeply ingrained from all those gabillion, gabillion. Once I, I did some math on how many diet ads we've all seen. I forget what the number was now, but it's like really high. Leave this stupid culture that makes you feel bad about eating some freaking pizza. Pizza is not the enemy. Overeating is the enemy, my friends. You know, it's quantity. Now I know you can also try to be very nutritious, but it's quantity. And when you make that leap to, I've already blown it, I might as well. That's where weight gain is. That's what, that's what our problem is. It's, it's not eating with hunger. Eat with hunger, my friends. It's a habit you can build. It's joyful. It's, it's, it's how Mother Nature wants you to eat, okay? Joe, Elon, I hope you see this. I know, you probably won't, but yeah, you could learn something from me. 